Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about traffic signs. So we have started with the topic traffic management, and uh, uh, we have discussed about the conflict points in an uncontrolled intersection, and uh, we have seen and discussed that how uh, converting a uh, two-way two-lane road uh, into one way can help to manage the traffic efficiently. But that is, uh, though it is an economical uh, method, but it's not a uh, like uh, efficient method. It cannot be applied everywhere. We have discussed about this in the previous video. So if you want to know about that, you can refer to that video. And uh, so in order to ensure a better traffic management practices, uh, we have certain other uh, techniques available. And in that, the first one is by installation of traffic sign. Right. So by installation of traffic sign, we try to ensure that there is safe movement of traffic in the road section. So uh, your yeah, traffic signs, as we know, these are there are variety of traffic signs with dif different different shapes, different color combinations, and like that. So why and why there is so much uh, difference in the shape? We have triangular shape, circular shape, octagonal shape. The colors the, some have red border, some have blue background some have red background what is the reason for all these things that we are going to discuss in this video lecture so in this video lecture we are going to discuss in detail about the traffic signs so the discussion here will be uh, as per irc 67 irc means uh, indian road congress this is a uh, body that gives the standards and specifications for uh, pavement as well as for uh, traffic control measures right so um, this will be a discussion with respect to the uh, Indian uh, scenario. IRC 67 will be referred uh, for the specification that we are going to discuss in this video, right? So it may, if you are from different countries and watching this video, your specification may or may not vary, right? The uh, the provisions for location of traffic signs in different locations may or may not vary, uh, right? So this. Discussion in this video is as per IRC 67. All right. So um, for traffic signs, uh, what is the function of traffic sign? The uh, a traffic sign is uh, can be described as efficient if it gives the timely warning. It helps for the better traffic regulations and gives the information about the route in which the driver is moving. Right. So these are like the common uh, like aim that a traffic sign installation wants to achieve. On and all, we have uh, uh, three uh, variety of traffic signs. Whatever traffic signs are installed on the section of the road uh, can be uh, can be categorized into three variety. It will be of any of the three variety. The first one is the regulatory sign, also called as the mandatory sign. Second is the warning sign. And the third one is the informative sign. So regulatory signs are those signs uh, which if not followed, will result into some form of penalty. These these are used for the traffic management. Your warning signs are uh, those signs which uh, warn the uh, driver regarding some hazardous conditions on the road. And informative sign gives the information about the facilities that are av available at the roadside. Right. So, like to to easily bifurcate uh, what each sign means. So you can say that if you do not follow the regulatory signs, uh, which are also called as mandatory signs. Your regulatory signs are also called as mandatory signs. If you do not abide to these signs, if you don't abide to these signs, they will result in some of some form of penalty. These, if you do not abide to what these signs are saying, if you do not follow that, that will result in some form of penalty. So if if you ever get confused that which kind of traffic sign is shown in front of you. Just think that if I do not follow it, will I be penalized? If yes, then that is a regulatory sign or a mandatory sign. Then second one is uh, the uh, warning sign. And warning sign, if you do not follow the warning sign, if you do not follow the warning sign, it will lead to, let's say, let's discuss our extreme condition, it will lead to some form of injury. It will lead to some form of injury or it may even lead to death, right? It may even lead to death because the warning signs, what they do is they warn us about the hazardous conditions on the road section, right? So this, uh, if 
you you see a sign and say and uh, just uh, like assess that is it warning us about the hazardous condition and if i do not follow will it result into some form of injury or even may lead to death then it is a warning sign and at the end we have the informatory signs and informatory signs as we know it gives about the uh, gives about the information about the facility right so all these signs that tells you about uh, the facilities that are available in the road section like if there is any restaurant if there is any petrol pump or like that some some form of facilities information that is giving then it is called as the informatory sign we are going to discuss about these three signs in a, in a very uh, elaborate manner in the uh, as we move along with the lecture okay now let us discuss uh, the provisions that are used for the installation of traffic signs right so uh, if the road is two lane if we have a two lane road then the sign has to be installed on the left side of the carriage right if we have two lane road then the traffic sign will be installed on the left side of the carriage way and repeated on the other side of the carriage way if the local conditions are not in favor right so if uh, let's say uh, the road is wide enough or there is some form of vegetation there is some form of heavy vegetation is also there in along the side of the road so as uh, so it can also be done that uh, the traffic sign is installed on the right hand side along with the left side it is also installed at the right side of the carriage way right Conversely, in a two-lane road, it is installed on the left side of the carriageway. In a multi-lane divided road, the uh, traffic sign will again will be placed on the left side of each carriageway, right? On each carriageway. In case we have hilly roads, then the traffic signs are installed in the valley side, right? If we have if we have a hilly uh, region, and let's say this, there is a there is a valley uh, uh, here, then uh, Towards the valley side, the traffic sign will be installed. Right, so these are so this is the provisions where we install the traffic sign. If we have a road with curve, if we have road with curve, then the traffic sign will be installed at 0.6 meter away from the edge of the curve. And if the road does not have curve, then the traffic sign will be located at a two to three meters from the edge of the carriageway. Right. it will be so here we can see in this image in this image there is no curve here so it so uh, it will and this you know is the carriage way this is the carriage way so 2 to 3 meters from the carriage way the traffic sign is installed and the traffic sign should be mounted on the on a pole that that is colored with alternate black and white band and you can see here it is uh, mounted on a pole with a alternate black and white band the reason for mounting these uh, on a alternate uh, color pattern is to have a better visibility to have a better visibility right and uh, like the ultimate aim is to ensure that the sign should is visible so if, if at some point it is observed that following these provisions the traffic uh, sign is not uh, visible uh, to a safe distance so uh, the modification can be done by the uh, by the planner in charge now in a road section where multiple signs are installed you can see we have uh, traffic sign here we have traffic sign here we have traffic sign you can see here so there are multiple traffic signs that are installed on the same uh, road section right so the distance between the traffic signs right the distance between these traffic signs is 0.6 v right the traffic sign will be 0.6 v apart where v is the 85th percentile speed we have discussed about the 85th percentile speed so you can refer to the video uh, if you are uh, like uh, to want to get the more information about the 85th percentile speed right so the location will be uh, 0.60 where v is the 85th percentile speed right so that is how the distance between the traffic signs are decided and in case uh, there is uh, we have a multi lane road right in case we have multi lane road and uh, installing the traffic sign on the left side of carriage way uh, the visibility at the other side of the road is less so in that case uh, we what we can do is we can uh, install the traffic sign at higher elevation right we can install the traffic sign at higher elevation where uh, with the clearance of 5.5 meter over the entire entire width right at the clearance of 5.5 meter over the entire width so that 
the traffic that is going uh, on uh, both side of the road in between the lanes they uh, they can see the traffic sign clearly and in case uh, this clearance cannot be maintained right if in case this clearance uh, cannot be maintained then gantry mounted sign should be placed right and these signs should be placed as a, a, on a column of sign meter or higher so these are what we call as the gantry mounted signs right you must have seen in your uh, daily life when you are mo moving on national highway or expressway these are what we call as the gantry mounted sign when we go uh, when do we go for the gantry mounted sign when the clearance of 5.5 meters cannot be maintained okay so then we go for the gantry mounted all right now what is the orientation of the sign right what is the orientation of the sign if this is the road how what is, what should be the orientation of the traffic sign so conventionally the traffic signs are are, are made vertical right their sign are, are faced vertical to the uh, gradient of the road or or the driver that is moving on the road it is it placed at, uh, at at that angle uh, and parking signs 15 degree to the carriage way but again if uh, we observe that the reflective index is uh, is so much that it hinders the driver attention so, so that uh, the traffic sign can be turned as it is right as per the requirement so instead of 90 we can even go for 95 just to uh, so as to uh, reduce the glare uh, from the traffic sign okay now the uh, dimensions uh, with which the traffic signs are uh, uh, the information are written on the traffic signs again there are certain provisions in the code that uh, specifies like what should be the font size right so small uh, is 600 mm size uh, and uh, font size is 100 mm and large is 1200 and font size is like the size of the traffic sign 1200 mm and font size is 225 and dep it depends upon the speed zone so expressway we are going to use larger because the speed is very high compared to that in the minor roads right likewise there are other provisions regarding the directions as well as the size of the letter right so let's uh, uh, this this was a like a general discussion about the traffic uh, sign installation right it's a very important it was also very important like uh, uh, not only you should know about it, uh, about the traffic signs which you should know uh, where and uh, and when uh, we should put the traffic uh, signs you know in a, in a such a way that it can be it can it can serve its purpose right so now let us discuss about the three type of traffic signs that we had uh, discussed in the start of the lecture and the first one is the regulatory sign or the mandatory sign the first one is the regulatory sign or the mandatory sign so uh, as uh, like we have already uh, discussed regulatory signs and mandatory mandatory signs are compulsory to follow these are uh, compulsory to follow and if the uh, driver do not obey them then some uh, the control agency may take legal action that is some form of that is some form of penalty will be imposed if you do not follow these traffic signs now what are the uh, what are the examples of these regulatory signs we have right of way we have prohibitory signs no parking signs no stopping signs uh, restriction and signs compulsory direction signs so if you observe like if we do not follow any of these we will be penalized right so uh, these are strictly to follow now uh, there is a certain way in which these regulatory signs or the mandatory signs are represented so these uh, regulatory signs should be circular in shape they have the red circular ring and diagonal bar so the circular outer ring will be of red color and the diagonal bar if any will be of again red color and if any symbol that is used will be of of black in color it can be symbol arrow letter that uh, will be black in color with a white background right this is a general specification this is a this is a general specification okay and if this mandatory sign is giving a positive instruction right so let's say stop stop probably uh, there is no movement of the vehicle these are kind of this give you uh, like a negative they restrains you right while they if there is some positive instruction like uh, keep left and like that uh, a kind of positive instruction is there then these are installed on uh, on a circular uh, traffic sign with with blue background and white symbol okay it's very important to remember these two right these uh, these specifications 
specification right apart from these two and there there is certain exceptions right so if if we are using stop sign if we are using stop sign then it will be octagonal in shape with red background and if we are we are we have a giveaway sign or a yield sign that will be triangular in shape with apex in the downward direction okay so just keep uh, uh, just keep this these in mind general general shape is circular shape with red circular ring uh, red diagonal bar black symbols arrows and on 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 white background on white background mandatory signs that give positive instruction positive will be uh, in blue background circular in shape with white symbol exception stop sign give way or yield sign stop sign will be octagonal in shape give way or yield sign will be triangular in shape stop sign uh, along with octagonal in shape everything will be in written uh, in uh, the background will be in red while the text will be in white Uh, and a, the giveaway or yield sign uh, it will be triangular in shape with apex in the downward direction example we have here okay so just uh, let's correlate with the example the general shape we have circular shape red border red diagonal bar if anything is to be written that it will be in black that will be in black with white background right you can see here if there is uh, uh, like If there is a like a positive message then it is in blue background with white symbol shape will be circular expressions are stop sign and give way sign stop sign octagonal in shape octagonal in shape red background written in white right it has red border yield sign or give way sign triangular in shape with apex it's very important apex downward apex in downward direction you can see apex in the downward direction we have red border we have white background and written in black okay i hope it is clear to you right so let's move ahead so uh, these uh, based upon the design speed the size is regulated regulated we have different specifications you can see like this table i have put just to uh, not to like learn but to have a sense of appreciation that each and every thing is specified and nothing is abrupt nothing is random each and every thing like what size should be there what should be the diameter of, of of traffic signs what should be the diameter of mandatory signs and and that depends upon the speed right so everything is very specified now in case uh, like uh, there may be uh, a road section which has a limited visibility so multiple signs need to be placed uh, in the same road section conveying the same message so in case uh, if same traffic signs are to be placed in the same road section then these signs are called as repeater sign and these are the specifications to uh, go for the uh, for the repeater signs repeater signs are those which convey similar signs like these are the similar signs that are placed in the same section of the road right likewise we have uh, the uh, like the dimensions of these stop signs again it depends upon the uh, speed uh, like the road section in which you are uh, putting up the stop sign and the speed uh, tentative speed limit in that road section right so if the speed is up to 50 km then size will be small height what will be the height what will be the border what will be the font size like you can see here it can it is showing this in the in the figure right so uh, it the dimension depends upon the speed now the installation again they if let's say this is the minor road and this is the major road right this is let's say a national highway this is some minor road that is uh, joining the national highway so this uh, installation of traffic sign dip, again depends upon the visibility right it depends upon the visibility funnel right so this is a table that is used right uh, why is the visibility the major road right this is the y distance based upon the visibility x is the visibility Uh, from the minor road right this is the x right so based upon these scenarios uh, the installation of uh, this stop sign is done now what is the uh, location of of stop sign right where do we install the stop sign so stop signs are installed 1.5 meter in advance of stop line this is the stop line we are going to discuss about the stop line uh, markings and the yield markings when we discuss about the road markings in the upcoming lectures okay 
right so uh, in general it is located at 1.5 meter in advance of the stop line and in no case greater than 6 meters right and if the visibility of is uh, of the stop sign is, is compromised then uh, then a stop ahead sign should be installed prior to the stop sign very important point that you should notice a stop sign and yield sign should not be mounted on the same post right on a same post on a on a same post we should not have stop sign as well as yield sign right this is a wrong uh, wrong practice that is not advised not uh, recommended by the court right it is is a wrong method right wherever there is a stop sign it should be the only sign that is installed right and it should not it should not be used where traffic signals are installed right where uh, wherever the traffic signals are installed we should not use stop sign right these are certain certain general uh, things that one should remember while uh, looking for the location of stop sign now give way sign as uh, we have discussed it is prioritize the right of way right it prioritize the rights of right of way it is uh, uh, it's a equilateral triangle apex downward again i'll repeat the apex is apex is downward right apex is downward we have red border and background again we have table uh, where the dimensions are dependent upon the speed right we have dimensions which are dependent upon the speed then installation uh, to be used at intersection on the minor road where stop sign is not necessary where speed limit is not that high and traffic volume is not that high that the vehicle has to mandatory go for stop in that case we can use for use, use the give way sign or the yield sign on hilly road uh, uh, with single or intermediate carriageway we need yield sign and uh, together with the road markings they can be used in different sections of the road right and uh, they are uh, they are uh, uh, located in advance to point where vehicles are required to stop yield at a distance of 1.5 to 12 meters and of course give the line should be marked where this uh, traffic sign has to be installed, right? Just like stop sign, we have this specification, right? So you can see like everything is very much specified. What should be the uh, dimensions of each and every letter and shape? Okay, so this was about the regulatory sign. Now let us move to the second part that is the cautionary sign or warning sign. And we know these warn the as the name is warning sign, the warn the uh, commuters regarding the regarding the hazard potential danger it alerts the road user regarding the potential danger or certain hazardous condition right so uh, these cautionary signs or the warning signs are equilateral triangles with apex upward now that is why i was uh, focusing on the apex you see these are also triangle in shape but this time the apex is in the upward direction right while in the regulatory sign uh, when we are discussing about the yield sign, the, the apex was in downward direction, right? That's why I was focusing on the apex, right? So here the apex is in, in the upward direction, apex is in the upward direction. We have red borders, black symbols, white background. Almost similar, or the uh, uh, like the uh, color pattern and shape is similar, but the apex is in the upward direction, right? This indicates that it is a cautionary sign. Example. We have hairpin band, we have narrow bridge, we have medium spool head sign like that, right? Example of your cautionary sign is like this wild animal area, right? So we have equilateral triangle, red border, white background, black symbol. Apex, upward, right? Apex is upward. Again, we have uh, dimensions with respect to this speed. Location and mounting of the of the warning sign should not be on the same post as stop or give way sign very important thing to note right very important thing to note it should not be on the same pole on the same pole where a stop sign or give way sign is there we should never install the cautionary or warning sign why the reason is that since stop signs is uh, like these are regulatory signs are uh, will lead to penalty so the attention of the driver will be directly diverted either towards the stop sign right or if uh, it may happen it may be diverted to the yield sign right the, the attention of the driver will be divided if we put stop sign as well as the cautionary sign on the same post right so in no case i'll again repeat in no case these should be uh, mounted 
along with proper give sign. This it can though it can be combined, right? And wherever it is combined with some other sign, let's say uh, we have we have one cautionary sign, and then we have one informative sign uh, on a same post. That like combination is possible, and wherever there is a combination, the triangle will be in the in, in at the top, right? Uh, and where wherever there are two or more warning signs, hazard sign will be at the top, and uh, the warning sign should be placed depending upon the upon the 85th percentile speed of the vehicle it will depend upon the 85th percentile speed of the vehicle we have discussed about 85th percentile speed in the previous lectures okay so you can so i hope you understand what is 85th percentile speed if not you can refer to the lecture right and uh, uh, the, uh, when we go down the hill the distance may distance or location may increase okay these so these are some certain provisions for location uh, and mounting Okay, these are the examples, right? These are certain examples of your warning signs, right? Like under un unguarded railway crossing, there is no uh, provision or restriction of the traffic. Then yeah, another example of your warning signs are chevron signs, right? These are chevron signs. These are what we call as chevron signs. You must have seen that these are located along the curve of the road, right? Whenever there is a there is a sharp curve along the road, we have chevron signs, right? And you can see these are rectangular in shape. And we have black marking written in uh, with a yellow background, just for improving the visibility, right? And depending upon the curve radius, right? So if uh, if you observe, uh, we have discussed the previous signs, location, and like uh, and everything based upon speed. So here the the spacing between chevron sign, right? The spacing between uh, these chevron sign will be based upon the curve radius, right? So on curve before curve, uh, these has to be on the basis of curve radius. And depending upon the sharp sharpness of the of the curve, we can use uh, double and uh, triple chevron. This is single, this is double, and this is triple chevron symbol or traffic sign. Okay, just to indicate that there is a sharp turn. Then we have hazard marking, right? We have Hazard markings. These are located along the uh, along the bridges, uh, trees, or any hazardous area, and uh, uh, like the purpose is to restrict or indicate a restricted movement uh, towards the direction in which the driver is moving. If the hazard is, is two way, then we can use this type of two way hazard marker, right? Uh, if traffic is allowed to pass on either side of the triangle island, two way hazard marking can be used. That is, if the uh, there is uh, like restriction towards both side then we can use two way hazard marker example is here like we restriction is in this side of the road restriction is in this side of the road both sides we have restriction so uh, two way hazard strip along with one way is installed okay like uh, it, it is again uh, used in combination like you, you we have this hazard marking uh, post and then we have keep left all right so I hope you know what in what category this traffic sign is. Okay, let's take a guess and write in the comment section. All right, then we have uh, the third category that is the informative sign or guide sign. We have third category informative sign or guide sign. So uh, as the name suggests, they give information. We have discussed before these give information about the facilities available at the sides of the road, and these are rectangular in shape, right? These are rectangular in shape. Color pattern. The color pattern will be dependent upon the uh, certain parameters, right? What parameter? These are the parameters, right? So if the uh, the installation of informative sign is in expressway, then the background will be blue, and whatever arrows, borders, or letter has to be done, that will be in white. If it is in national highway, the background will be green. If it is state highway, background will be green. If it is a major district road, background will be green. So for all these three parameters, we have we have green backgrounds, right? So for for national highway, state highway, and major district roads, we have what we have? We have green backgrounds and with white markings. Only for expressway, we have blue background, and for urban cities also, we have blue background, right? And there we go for the white marking, right? And in case of village road, in case of village road, we have we have white background, we have white background with black marking. Okay, black marking is all, only used for village road. Okay, blue for expressway or urban cities. 
the arrows will be throughout the white except for village green. Okay. So these are uh, what we decide as the color pattern. Okay. So needless to say, these are used to identify the uh, to give the information about about the road, about the route, about the facilities that are available, and these are the fonts that are used for uh, for adding the information, right? Uh, so these are the certain uh, example. So we have uh, we have green background, we have uh, text written in white. So the probability where this traffic sign will be installed, you can see it is rectangular in shape, green background, white text. White arrows. So, if you look here, these three are the possible road sections in which this traffic sign would have been installed. So, uh, just for the sake of appreciation, you can see like the code specify each and every detail, each and every detail. What should be the spa spacing? What should be the font size? How much spacing should be there from the bottom? How much spacing should be there from the top? Each and every detail is pre-specified. Nothing is random. Okay, and another example. So these are and again example of informative sign. We have a rectangular shape. We have blue background and written in uh, like the black symbol. There are other informative uh, other uh, standards that are put as an exception in case of let's like, say highway, national highways, Asian highways, expressways. We have these kind of informative sign color pattern that are used. These are some of the examples for the informative signs that we like commonly see. All right. So this was all about the uh, about the traffic signs. I hope uh, this uh, lecture was uh, useful to you. Uh, and if so, do like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more uh, video lectures like this. And you can press the bell icon uh, for regular notification. Right. Thank you for uh, listening. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, like consider subscribing to the channel if you find this video useful. Right. Uh, and like post your views in the comment section. Right. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.